the philosophy behind the school is basically for people to just be together and get to know each other and get to know the other culture, just so that there isn't all this fear and uh, which eventually leads to hatred. Who's Arab? Me. <laughs> Who's Israeli? In this school, the message is no matter the differences, we can live together and we can respect each other and hear each other out. Our school is a symbol of coexistence, of living together. It's special. It's Jews and Arabs together and all the kids say it is uh, like equal. An important part of creating our uh, multicultural framework is, is the bilingual education. So it's Hebrew Arabic bilingual education, which means that from pre-K and up until sixth grade, there are two teachers in every classroom, one Jewish and one Arab teacher. My daughter is studying here. I told one of my cousins that she's enrolled to the bilingual school. He said, what is that, Hebrew and Yiddish? I said, no, no, Hebrew and Arabic. <laughs> you should know the other side. You should know the history, the narrative of your rivals. Jerusalem is a very unique place. This city is important, historically, nationally, but it is the most sensitive place in the Middle East. And there are some Peromaniacs who are playing here in this city. November 29th, I had a phone call and said that the, uh, one of the classes was burned. People had come in, broken into the school, and put notebooks and books and kids' bags and kids' sweatshirts in a pile and set them alight. The graffitis on the walls of the school, death to Arabs. It's frightening. It's not just burning any school, it's burning a school that symbolizes peace and love. It was really, really difficult for all of us, and in a way it also unified us. For me, I won't let any hate comments or even the hardest things like fires stop us from our message and what we believe in. There are two peoples living in this country and they're going to have to live together with each other. We have to start with the children.